Hey everybody, Kenneth Russell here. Hope you're doing well. Got another vlog for you today talking about the differences between practice and rehearsal. Now you may think there is no difference between practice and rehearsal. Those are you know synonymous terms you can use interchangeably. And a lot of times as musicians, we do use those interchangeably. Like for instance, we might say, hey, practice is on Wednesday at seven o'clock. Here's the difference. This is how I define practice. Practice is personal time getting good. Personal time spending with the music. You know, say your, your band is doing five songs in an upcoming weekend, whatever the case is, that's your personal time making sure you're ready to play those songs, working out your licks, making sure you, you've got, you know what you're gonna do. Rehearsal is the time when everybody comes together, they've already put in their one-on-one -on -one time, you know, on their, their individual time, and they put all that together and create this song, okay? Now, it's almost like a puzzle piece. We've all got our puzzle, we are a puzzle piece, and the rehearsal, we're putting it together, we're figuring out how everything fits together, and, and uh, but if you don't, if you haven't put your practice in, it's like you're this puzzle piece, but you don't even really know what your shape is. And so when you show up to rehearsal, it just doesn't quite fit and you're having to spend a lot of time and energy and effort into trying to make it work with the puzzle. Now there's two scenarios where this this uh, doesn't this practice and rehearsal uh, has an issue. The number one is, is if you have a culture in your band or your group that nobody practices on their own and they just show up for rehearsal and figure it out there. If you're in that situation, I am sorry for you because that is it's miserable. I'm at the point where I, I, I hate that. I hate having a rehearsal where nobody knows what they're doing. The second thing is is uh, the scenario where maybe one person in the group doesn't practice and everybody else does. And so that one person shows up to rehearsal and steals time away from the rest of the people in the group. And what do I mean by that? If you didn't put in your practice and you show up for a rehearsal, and that rehearsal runs long because you didn't didn't have your stuff done you just stole time from your entire group so let's say you're in a group with five people you're one of five musicians so there's four other people in the group and you didn't put in your practice and that rehearsal went 15 minutes long and the way i view it is you stole 15 minutes of life from the people in your band and essentially what you're saying when you don't practice and you show up for rehearsal and you're not prepared, you're essentially saying to the rest of the group, hey, I know we all had busy days and busy weeks and uh, our busy time days this week and you know there wasn't a whole lot of time to practice, but my busyness, my things that I had to do were more important than the things that you had to do. By definition, you're saying that. Now, sometimes there's, you know, circumstances that come up and, and it, you know, there's nothing you can do uh, and you just can't practice. I understand that, but I'm talking about the, the perpetual person that does not practice. You're stealing from your group. And if you're in a group that does not have that as part of their culture, man, talk with the guys in your group, uh, talk with the girls in your group, figure out how you can make that uh, a part of your culture to practice uh, on your own so that you're more effective for rehearsal. So. Anyway, that's what I wanted to talk about on this vlog is the difference between practice and rehearsal. If you can, as a musician, get that and figure that out, you'll be a better musician if you're playing with other people. Uh, if this is your first time watching my vlog, man, I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you enjoyed this, comment below. You know, Maybe you've got something that you wanna say, you wanna add to the conversation, and like this, share this with your friends. I'm posting these vlogs every Monday and also my music theory lessons on Thursday. So Kenneth Russell out. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in another video. Maybe 10 measures through it and he just stops me and he goes, okay, okay, okay. We can stop there. I can see that we're going to have to start at the very beginning with you.